Today, I'm not only gonna show you a Halloween decor DIY, but I'm gonna show you how to turn this soda bottle into a decor cloche. The best part about this DIY is obviously you don't have to do the skull hand for the center. You can just make the cloche and use it for a home decor piece. What you'll need will be listed below, but you'll need some scissors, metal shears, paint, paint brushes, a fake rose, a skull hand, an ornament, color of your choice and size of your choice, exacto knife, a handsaw, a dowel, a drill bit, hot glue, and a soda bottle, and some circular wood base type of situation that you can pick up from your hardware store or Michaels. I am actually reusing this from a previous DIY for my skull sconce. You can check it out by clicking the card in the right hand corner. And then this soda bottle, I just washed the label off and use some canola oil to get the glue off that's a little bit sticky. You want your circle wood base to be a little bit larger than the soda bottle, so just make sure you're measuring appropriately. And I went ahead and stained it, but you can spray paint it or leave as is, whatever you want. You wanna grab your soda bottle and handsaw and just cut directly beneath the threads of the cap area. Then take your scissors and typically the soda bottles have a little line where the label used to be and just follow that line. I then popped off the silver part of the ornament to make sure that it would fit into the soda bottle top. Before I glue that on, I just put some clear nail polish on it to polish it just a little bit. And then I put some E6000 and placed the ornament top upside down right in the hole. And this is obviously acting as the glass of the cloche. I put my skeleton hand in it and then marked it with my thumb where I needed to cut it with my metal shears. I repeated the same thing with the rose. Now I saw on Pinterest this decor idea and I wanted to make the hand bend. So I took a lighter and I had a mask on and you should do this with supervision if you're not old enough to be using a fire, but I just kind of melted and bent the hand how I wanted it to look around the rose. I should have used a heat gun, but I didn't have one. So I just stuck with a lighter. And if you don't mind how the hand looked when you first got it, you don't need to do this step, obviously. Once I got the hand how I liked it, I just went ahead and spray painted it and just stressed it the same way I did the DIY skull sconce, which you can watch for more detail on how I just added the grays and the blacks and some water to make it look awesome. I then measured and marked the middle of the wood base, drilled a hole right in the center, and then made sure that my dowel fit because we want the skeleton hand to be standing straight up. So this is gonna be the support system for it. I wanna use this after Halloween, so I stained where I made the drill mark. That way I can just take this skeleton hand out and then use it for regular home decor later. I placed the dowel up to the skeleton hand, measured and marked and cut where I needed it to be just to use it as the support system. I didn't need it very long. I hot glued on the inside sleeve of that skeleton hand and placed it directly on the dowel to dry. You clearly don't have to decorate it with a skeleton hand and a rose. The cloche is done when you make the top and the bottom portion, but I'm gonna show you how I added a rose and made this little Halloween decor piece. I actually am making two of these, so I decided to put a rose in each of the hands and then I placed some rings on, well, this isn't the wedding ring finger because it's the wrong hand, but you know, we're gonna make do. I just added those, I'm gonna make two of them and it's gonna be till death do us part. I am super pumped on how this came out. I would do a couple of things different next time, maybe seal the bottom of the soda bottle somehow with a heat gun just to make it look a little bit more cleaner. But all in all, I'm pumped on this. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY Halloween decor and just a cloche home decor piece if you don't wanna make the centerpiece that I showed you. I'll see you Wednesday for another DIY.